What's up Shredder? In today's video, I'm gonna take you to one of my favorite kite spots in the whole entire world. Now listen, that's saying something because I've been traveling non-stop for the past five years. So join me for a ride in these beautiful blue waters nestled at the foot of these majestic desert mountains in Egypt. That's right, we're going to Blue Lagoon. Meow. Let's see, I just might throw my first loops in a while. It's been, been bouncing around like crazy. USA, Bonnet, Egypt, Egypt again. I don't even know. Anyway, it's gonna be a sick episode. Check it out. Ow! of women kiting right here. My yeah. god. Me, husband. What do you think about Blue Lagoon? Um, it's nice. The wind is gusty today. Um, there's, it's nice that it's um, flat in the takeoff and it's offshore. I wish it was sand getting into the lagoon, but it's actually super rocks. Lagoon. <laughs> super oh, lagoon. Super, super lagoon. Super lagoon. <laughs> Can't complain. Don't complain. It's just not worth it. Oh, oh shit. <laughs> So, um, yeah, Jasmine Cho, edging like a motherfucker. Check out this video, guys. I wonder who taught her, taught her how to edge. Yeah, my takeoffs are a little off right now, but pretty, not bad for the no cutting for three months. Doing super well. Doing super well. Very proud of you. Thank you. Alright, guys, see you later. Adios. Yeah. <laughs> Alright guys, what do you think about this iPhone cinematic effect? It's pretty cool. I just might actually get an iPhone. So, day one was awesome. 
we were, well, I was on the 8, Jasmine was on the 7, Mustafa on the 9, and I started out being like, oh, maybe I'm going to do some loops, and then I ended up doing some, like, laid backs and some Kailu board offs, and, uh, yeah, it was like, it's been, what, six months since I got injured, if I'm not mistaken, exactly six months. So, I was not expecting to be back at this level so soon, so that's fucking awesome. But otherwise, wow, amazing, amazing day, super, super stoked, and uh, we're chilling in a little hut over here, and yeah, they've got uh, a super cool place over here with pizza, great views, great facilities, like, in the middle of the desert. Awesome, like running water. Jasmine and I have a little bit of internet. Shower. <laughs> and we have a little bit of internet. So yeah, um, pretty spectacular. Let's go check out the sunset. Adios. Whoa. If you're enjoying this episode, then be sure to subscribe. Good morning. Here we are in this very basic Bedouin hut. And uh, yeah, body's feeling pretty stiff, but the wind is blowing. Let's go session. Ow! The morning session looks sufficiently windy. Sure is beautiful. What's up, guys? Amazing. Fuck yeah, that's good. I'm gonna take out my 10 XR7. Gonna go out with my surfer app, super cool app. It measures your jump heights, your speed, your travel distance, and super cool new feature is it can measure your speed on approach when you're edging, which is gonna determine how much power you bring into your jump, as well as it's gonna measure your point of sail. In other words, the direction you're going at relative to the wind, which is crucial to get right if you want to do super massive jumps. Anyway, not that strong this morning. Sarah's on an eight, this guy's on a nine. We are gonna play around a little bit on the 10, do some board offs, but yeah, let's have a good one. Ow! How's it going? It is. Um, but it's nice. On the 8 meter, hey? Yeah. Muy bien. What do you reckon? Should I take the 10 then? Yeah. Be good, eh? Alright, let's go! First jump, 7.6 meters on the surf app. It actually talks to you when you uh, do a jump. It's like 7.6 meters. Super cool. Let's go for a little Jesus walk. I just can't seem to land my board off today. So I'm gonna do a little bit old school, but check out that surface session over there on the right. Such cool data. Be sure to download the surfer app. It's free and you should be able to see my jump data. Ow! The title of the episode goes to Sarah Sadek. What I really love about Sarah is if it's windy, she's kiting every single minute of it. I mean, this woman kites for like four or five hours a day. She just loves it. 
She also kites with a ton of power. I mean, massive edging, bringing so much power into jumps, so much commitment, very powerful loops. Check out this kite loop late back. So guys, I think Sarah at the time of this is still an unsponsored rider. So there's gonna be some brand out there that's gonna be super lucky to snatch her up. Sara, your prize for being kiter of the episode is $100 to put towards your travels. And I really hope that you can join us one day at a backle competition. Meow. So if you wanna catch more kiting vlogs or how-to videos, then be sure to hit that subscribe button over here. I'm gonna be putting out way more content in future because I'm hiring a full-time video editor. I've been super busy working on the Big Air Kite League, giving kite coaching, and running my kite shop. So I really haven't had time left to edit videos. So in the next episode, I'm taking you on a kite safari, AKA big ass yacht in the Red Sea in Egypt. And trust me, it's gonna be sick. So if you got any questions about Blue Lagoon or Egypt, be sure to drop them in the comments. And otherwise, thank you so much for watching. Muchos besos, adios.